Hi everyone, it is week four of the April Minimalist Challenge and I have a lot left to do. So I need to get the basement finished and I need to get my room finished for sure. I have a lot of stuff that I've gotten rid of in the basement, but I still need to get everything moved out and gone, taken to the thrift shop, get some more stuff gone through, and then I can bring my scrapbooking stuff from in my room down here, which frees up room in my room and gives me a little space down here. Also, I want to eventually turn this area into a little play area for the girls as well. So that is another project for another day. But this being the last week, I'm running out of time. So I need to just get on it and get it done so I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's just one less thing I don't have to worry about. Let's get started. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was still recording. All right, so I'm kind of cheating. And for this week, this is pretty much what I'm getting rid of. There is a ton of stuff. There's baby clothes that we don't need anymore. These, this is a box of dishes some felt that I'm not going to use, a bag I'm not going to use. I'm actually keeping that. Oh, ignore that. Um, a baby carrier that I don't use anymore. Um, some trash and stuff. Then a ton of clothes that the girls have outgrown or I don't really remember them using at all. Then some dishes and tools and just a bunch of junk. Some old Halloween costumes from my aunt that I don't really know why I got, but I got them, so they're leaving. And then up here, sorry about the mess, but that stuff's going too. So this is just going to be an accumulation of everything that I'm getting rid of this week, along with a few of the days that I actually did specific items. I'm also getting rid of this bouncy seat. I'm going to try and sell it. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to try and sell as well. I have to go through it a little bit better and decide what I'm going to sell, but we'll see. And this is the finished product. So there's still stuff laying around that we need to take to the thrift store and stuff like that. But wow, it is so much better. All of the stuff that we're keeping is over here, semi-organized. Um, like I said, there's still a bunch of stuff that needs to be taken. Um, here's all the rest of the stuff that needs to be taken as well. Um, but at least I know what I need to get rid of and I can move on with my life. Ta -da! Okay, so I'm kind of cheating, but in a good way. So in that box, there was a ton of books, as you can see. Now there's Nancy Drew, um, a book series that I got when I was in high school that I've never even picked up. There's a couple books in here that I will never read. And then in this box, there's just a bunch of junk that, I, like I said, I've already decided that I'm getting rid of. So there's frames, some jewelry that I won't ever wear, an old mouse that doesn't work for my computer. Um, yeah, just a bunch of stuff that I've already decided is not worth keeping. So I'm using this as day 27. All right, guys, it is day 28, and I feel like I'm cheating a little bit with this one because there's more than 28 items in here, but they're all little items that are really kind of stupid. And the way the rest of this challenge is going, I've been getting rid of, like, piles of things, so, like, 10 piles of this and 12 piles of that, but this time it's just two boxes full of bunch of little things and I'm using it for day 28 so there we go hey bunch of toys I know it's a shocker considering how many toys I've gotten rid of already these are just daycare toys they're going to a friend and these are just a bunch of toys that I dug out of the girls room a long time ago and they've just been sitting down here collecting dust so they are leaving this house all right so here's day 29 and these are just a bunch of baby toys baby books that have been in a drawer for I don't know how long and they haven't played with them. So now that I have them out, of course they want to play with it, but they haven't played with it in forever, so it's going. Hi everyone, so this is day 30 of the Minimalist Challenge and I am going to be getting rid of basically my entire closet. So it's going to be more than 30 items, but I have a lot of crap in here that just needs to go away. Yes, Bella, thank you. So anyway, here we go. I pretty much have this sorted out for the most part. At least this part is sorted. So I know what I'm getting rid of that is hanging. I need to get rid of what's on top of the dresser and in the dresser. And I'm hoping 
that I get rid of enough to get rid of the dresser even. So we'll see. So this is the pile of clothes that I'm getting rid of. Then I have the pile over here of clothes that I'm keeping but going to put in a box. Alright guys, here is the finished product of the closet at least. Still need to fix some of the hangers and stuff, but obviously it looks so much more organized. So much less cluttered. I'm pretty happy with it. Alright, so she's going to take these for her daughter and see if she can find any clothes for her in here. And then whatever she doesn't use, she's going to take to the thrift shop. So say bye, four bags of clothes. Bye. Craziness. All right, so there you have it. That is the final video for the April Minimalist Challenge. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. I'm going to add a video to this because next week I would like to put up a final video of the before and afters of all the areas that I talked about doing and the ones that I actually finished. So be sure to take a look at all of the other great mommy YouTubers out there that have taken part in this collaboration challenge as well. They are in the playlist. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and be sure to click the bell icon in order to be updated every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!